Hello friends and followers. Andrewski L. Steve Roski, aka Faulty Jester 34 here. And today I have a wonderful magic trick to show you. I have here my special deck here. It was a gift that was given to me by a special friend. He got it for me from a magician who is actually no longer a magician today. That magician was no other than Chris Angel. This is a Chris Angel deck. As you can see, it has the Chris Angel. If you look close, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a Chris Angel dot com on it but it was given to him by Chris Angel which my friend met in person so today I will be performing a magic trick for you with this deck here we go I don't know if there's a name for this trick or not but, as you can see, I'm going to riffle through here, and all the cards are different. I'll do it again and here. All the cards are different. So, let's begin. I want you to cut the deck here. Here's the other half right here. And then I'm going to pull up a card. I'm going to turn my head. I'm going to show the camera, you, the audience, the card. Without, I won't, I will not look at it. Now, as you can see, there are no breaks in, in this packet. Correct. I have my hands flat, or my hand flat. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the other half, this half here, back on the top. I'm going to square it up. Now, I'm going to give the deck a cut, a fair cut. If I can do this properly, it's fairly cut here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to ask you where you want me to cut it. The top third? Okay. You want me to cut it here? Okay. Cut it right there. Place this half right there. Oh, well, that top two thirds right there on the top. Let's square it up. Just like this. Now... On the count of three, now first, before I go any further, your card, the chosen card, is somewhere in the deck. I have no clue where it is. First, I cut the deck, and then I asked you, the audience, 
or the viewers where you wanted me to cut it. And you gave me the, and you, and I chose, and you chose the top third, so I, that's where I cut it. I did that, and then I replaced it on top of the deck, or I cut the deck where you told me to cut it. Now, I'm going to, on the count of three, I'm going to snap my fingers. So let's do this. One, two, three. Now, for the moment of truth, your card was somewhere in the deck. And then I cut the deck once, and you told me where to cut the deck the second time. Now, let's look at the top card. I will show you. Is that, is this your chosen card? It is? Fantastic. Now, I'm going to place it back on the top here. Now, I'm going to cut the deck again. Now, before I do this, I'm going to leave it just like this. Now, please confirm that this is still your card on the top. It is? Fantastic. I'm going to place this half here on top. Now, with, the, with this still in view of you, the audience, I'm going to take it, then I'm going to go like this. Now, your card was the Nine of Hearts, correct? Yes? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I want you to, I'm going to have you, the audience, think of your card in your mind. Now, I showed you before this trick started at the beginning of the video that this was, that this deck had all different cards. Did I not? I did. Now what I'm going to attempt to do, while you're thinking of your card in your mind, I'm going to attempt to make this deck change into your chosen card. On the count of three. One, two, three. Watch carefully. All nine of hearts. Now, I'm going to cut the deck again. And then, as you can see, They all go back to different. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments.